one of the things that we get the most questions about at Ag PhD is weed control in soybeans. How do yep. I get this pre-emerge herbicide program to take out most of the weeds so I don't have to fight them post-emerge? So today we're going to address a few of those questions that we're getting. And Brian, one of the biggest ones has been around well, tillage. Well, yeah, but let, when we talk about this too, we should say our standard recommendation is use three pre-emerge herbicides. And a lot of people think, oh, well, hold that's on, crazy hold on, hold expensive. On. Use it's three not. effective modes of action pre. Good point. And what, what happens a lot is guys say, well, I have three different things out here. Sure, but one of them is an ALS and one of them's Roundup. And neither one of those two are working <laughs> on quite a few weeds out there. Right. So, so we need have to have one. three different things that work. Right. And and here's the challenge though, Brian, is, is back to this tillage question. Yep. I've got guys in conventional till that say, yep. hey, I want to work on some trifluralin and I like to dig that in fairly deep. Can I do that with something like Authority MTZ, which would have a PPO and Metribuzin? Okay, can you do it? Yes. Is it going to be super effective if you go deep? Probably not. So what I would suggest is if you want to disc, I'd probably disc first with the trifluralin or sonolan for that matter, either one is fine. And then come later, you're gonna have to do something other than just disc. You're going to field cultivate, let's say. Okay, well then you can put the metribuzin and the authority on with field cultivator. I'll just tell you uh, in our own operation, we'll put all three on right in front of the field cultivator. So yes, the trifluralin, I'd kind of like it a little bit deeper, but that's good enough. We're gonna clean up a little bit of grass later on with Roundup, I'm not that worried about it. But understand, trifluralin's pretty good on many of the Roundup resistant broadleaf weeds, including palmer pigweed. All right, now from the no-till guys, one of the common concerns that they have is, am I digging too much dirt out with the planter? If I put my pre's out ahead, okay. am I gonna have weeds in the row? That very well could be a problem. So if you are moving a lot of dirt with your planter, you should probably spray right after you plant. Now, unfortunately, Prowl is the only product you can use in no-till. You can't use trifluralin or sonolan. And Prowl isn't labeled north of I-80. Check the label. They may change things by spring. Who knows? And the reason why is because if you get too much Prowl there and you have a big rain right as the plant is emerging, you actually can cause a problem with the step. All right. Now, a couple of questions oh, about... Oh, hey, one thing I should say, too. If you can't use Prowl, then the next best bet is to use a Group 15 like Dual or Zigil. I do prefer that you save those for post. The yellows can't be used post but the group 15s can be used post. So we'd rather see you use the three pre's, uh, PPO, Metribuzin, and a yellow, followed by early post group 15. Okay, rates, Brian, a couple of yep. questions that we get frequently. One is Metribuzin. I haven't used Metribuzin okay. for 20 years. Now you're telling me to use it again. What rate works for my soils and how do I know how to determine that? Well, first of all, you can look on the label. Label's the law, so follow that. But I would tell you, two thirds of a pound is kind of the standard full rate. Well, we really never recommend two thirds of a pound. We recommend a third of a pound at most. So we're already down to a half rate. So we've already safened it up quite a bit. Then if you've got a pH over 7.4, our standard deal is go right down to a sixth of a pound. So now you're at a quarter of a rate. The odds that you're gonna hurt your crop at a quarter of a rate are slim to none. But if you have pure sand, or if you have, let's say an eight and a half pH, you might wanna cut that rate even further or potentially not use it. All right, the other thing with rates is if I use three effective modes of action yep. pre, do I have to use full rates of each? Well, you wanna get great weed control. So you wanna use as much Metribuzin as you can, for example, if I have a soil pH of 6.5, there's no question I'm using a third of a pound because that'll give me more weed control than a sixth of a pound. The reason why we talk about cutting rates in high soil pHs is a sixth of a pound in a high soil pH will work the same as a third of a pound in low pH. It's just more active in that high pH. But yeah, if we talk about, okay, well, Valor, I can use two ounces or I can use three ounces, what am I gonna do? If I got a serious problem with kochia, water hemp, palmer pigweed, whatever, any of these weeds that, you know, Valor's good on at two ounces, it's great on at three ounces, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna go with that higher rate. The other question that we get is in some of these combination pre's, there are modes of action like first rate, for example, and authority first or yep. sonic. Yep. And, and we get confusion across the country of if I use authority first now, can I still use first rate again for help on cleaning up mare's tail? Okay, so here again, you want to check the label. 
and follow the label. But I would tell you there's no possible chance I'm doubling up on first rate. We've seen carryover issues. There's no way I'm doubling up on Flexstar or Pursuit or some of those types of products. So you have to be super careful what you put on pre so you don't double up on it post. And that's part of the reason why we say use these three pre's that we recommend because they can't be used post anyway and you're not going to double up on anything going post anyway. And last question I've got is rainfall. How much yeah. rainfall does it take to activate incorporated pre's versus pre's that are laid on the soil surface? It's going to take less if you incorporate it. So if you aren't going to incorporate, we would suggest putting it on as early as possible so you have more chance for rain. It doesn't take a lot of moisture in the soil to get these things somewhat activated. It does take a fair amount of moisture to get any residual herbicide super activated. Using three effective modes of action, pre-emerge on soybeans has dramatically improved weed control across the country. We'd encourage you to try it on your farm. One of the weeds that it may help you with is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what will control this weed coming up next.